It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season nine of The Walking Dead. This is gonna be my review for season nine, episode five of The Walking Dead, which was called What Comes After. Now, right off the bat, I absolutely enjoyed that episode. It was emotional, it was funny at times, and it was a roller coaster ride as a whole, I would say. But I absolutely enjoyed the episode. Do I think this is a good send off for Rick? Yes, I do think so. It was a bit predictable, but they handled it well. They connected everything together in a very nice way. And they gave us some shockers here and there to kind of balance the fact that most of what we saw was predictable. And the kind of outcome of this episode, which was Rick surviving and going on the helicopter ride, was definitely one of the main kind of speculations that we had. So we knew it was coming. So it was a bit predictable in that sense. But because they threw in some of those kind of twists here and there, I think that it was a good send off. I would say they could have done things a little bit better here and there. But as a whole, they did that pretty nicely. And I think they handled Rick's send off in a pretty nice way. Now I want to jump into some of the things from the episode. Of course, this was a pretty big episode. There was a lot in there. There was a lot to talk about. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm going to refer to a scene and say whether I loved it or I didn't. And just maybe briefly say something about it and just move on. So that way this video is not super long. So going into that first scene with Rick actually getting away and managing to get himself off of that rebar. I thought that was pretty intense. That was, I would say very very cool very epic very badass and i absolutely loved it then the scene with maggie killing the walker with a crowbar i thought that was pretty cool it just showed maggie's anger and the fact that you know she has this much rage definitely kind of built up that moment between maggie and negan later in the episode but the thing that i did even mention in my reaction when I did my reaction I think Maggie pictured Negan in front of her when she actually bashed in that walker's head in pretty cool imagery I would say as well but that was pretty cool absolutely loved it then we have the part with Jadis talking on the radio I thought that was pretty cool and it kind of built up that last scene with Jadis and the conclusion of this episode in a very nice way so that was pretty cool again the Jadis stuff, as much as I didn't like the previous episode, what they were doing with Jadis, because it felt repetitive, this episode, the Jadis stuff felt new, and I would say fresh. So that was pretty cool, and, you know, I would say it balanced out the repetitive nature of her story in the last episode. Then we get the Shane and Rick scene. I thought that was freaking epic. I mean, this has to be my favorite part of this episode. If not the best, then one of the best. I love that he mentions how Rick killed him in the field and talks about that. That was great. I love that he brings up the fact that it's not really Rick's family. Bringing up the fact that Judith is really Shane's. Absolutely enjoyed that. I loved Shane bringing up the fact that Rick ripped the guy's throat out and killed the guy in the church, of course, Gareth and the cannibals loved that. And I loved the fact that he says he credits himself for how savage and badass Rick has become. I thought that was pretty well done. In a way, that conversation went the way I wanted it to go. Everything I wanted them to talk about, they talked about, which was absolutely phenomenal. Now, of course, I loved seeing John Bernthal back and seeing him with Andrew Lincoln again. That was all epic. Then we get the part with Maggie and Michonne at Negan's cell. I really loved that. I mean, the conversation they had was absolutely intense and epic. And it was realistic. It was genuine. Like, I could feel all of the emotions coming from each of the characters. I really loved that. Now... Did I think Michonne was going to give the keys away? No. That was a bit shocking, in my opinion. Did it work? I think it worked. Based on the conversation they had, it was realistic in a way. Then we get the Maggie and Negan scene. That was absolutely insane. I loved it. Both Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Lauren Cohen 
killed that scene. I mean, literally killed that scene. And, you know, I loved it. I mean, the outcome was the same as the comics, which I predicted. And it was just awesome. Like, this was a great scene. They made you feel bad for Negan. And that's hard to do. So that was pretty well done. This has to be top contenders as one of my favorite scenes from the episode. But one thing I do want to mention is... Can we say at this point that Maggie actually agrees with Rick's decision? Could we say that? And what do we think about that? You know, that's very interesting. The other thing I want to say is, it seems like this might have been one of the last scenes we saw from Maggie as a kind of focused scene for her. Because of course, this was Lauren Cohen's last episode as well, just like Rick. And Maggie is gone at this point. They have to explain what happens to her, of course, in the next episode. But, you know, this was her send-off in a way. And I think that maybe her send-off was overshadowed by the send-off that Rick got and everything that happened in this episode, basically. So that has to be a little underwhelming and disappointing, in my opinion. They could have done something where there was a bit more focus on Maggie herself as well. But... You know, of course, there wasn't enough time and there was a lot in this episode. But the one big flaw I had from this episode would be how much they didn't focus on Maggie, given that this is her last episode. Then going from there, we have the Rick and Herschel scene. That crushed me. This scene was absolutely sad. I mean, aside from how sad it was based on the story and bringing up Glenn and Beth and everything there but also it was Scott Wilson's final scene ever in anything like this was the final thing he shot because of course he passed away shortly before season 9 started and it's just sad I don't know how else to say it but it was just a sad scene all around and yeah the only thing I can say is rest in peace Scott Wilson but that scene really hit me hard Aside from the story and the show, it hit me hard. And I'm sure it hit many fans hard as well. Then going from the Herschel scene, we get the Rick at the hospital scene. I thought that was pretty well done. And of course, they did something clever where they had the doors saying, don't open that outside, which is the opposite of what was written on the door in the pilot episode where it says, don't open that inside. And I love that they connected this with the bodies on the ground with the mountain of the dead so Rick opens the door and he's faced with this mountain of dead and everyone he loves is basically dead I really love that Ronnie Hayes from Mickey Path Presents actually predicted that which was pretty insane I would say but you know I think that was pretty well done I really loved what they did with that and I loved seeing all the bodies on the ground. Of course, we saw Amy, we saw Rosita, we saw Maggie, we saw Carol, Jesus, Shane, and maybe some others that I'm missing. But I really loved that. Just seeing that scene come to life was epic. Of course, that was a variant cover from the comic that they brought to life in the show from issue 100. Then we get the Rick and Sasha conversation. I didn't really care about that too much. I mean, it was cool, but... I don't know, I didn't really think Sasha and Rick were that close, you know what I mean? So it was an odd decision to bring Sasha back in that way. Carl would have made sense, maybe Glenn would have made sense, Abraham would make sense, but for Sasha, it didn't quite connect with me. Then we have the Rick at the bridge moment, and that goes back to what I was saying about how it was a roller coaster ride. But I absolutely loved how they basically faked us out. But didn't really fake us out that much. You know what I mean? They didn't do it to a point where it was annoying. But they did give us that twist that made the episode cool. So I loved that. And then, of course, we have Rick blowing himself up. And they did a great job making it actually seem like he was dead. I absolutely loved it. And in my notes, I actually have dead, not dead question mark when I saw that. And... Of course, they revealed it like five minutes after that he wasn't actually dead. So that was cool. But yeah, going to that scene where it's revealed that Jadis saves him. I loved it. I mean, it was predictable because we knew it was coming. That was one of the main kind of speculations that everyone had that Jadis was going to save him. And it ended up happening. But like I said earlier on, 
the twists that they had definitely balanced out and kind of made it worth it, even though it was predictable. And then going to that last scene with the time skip and Magnus group coming in and Judith saving them, loved it. That's the best introduction of, an, of a character in a long, long, long time. And I loved it. There's no other way to say it. I love that. And of course, there's some great things coming up for Judith. Great to see that. And can't wait to see what they're doing with Judith. Of course, I did my breakdown of the next three episodes. I uploaded that right before this. So I talk more about that in that video. But I really like what they're doing with Judith and how they're kind of building her story up. But that's basically it for this review. I mean, it was a great episode. I loved it and can't wait for the next three episodes. And one thing, I love that they're not ending Rick's story quite yet. And I'll do another video about that. But AMC announced that they're doing a series of AMC Studios original films to continue the story of Rick Grimes. So they revealed that there's going to be actually three movies in the works for Rick. So I love that. I mean, we get more Rick, which is great. And it kind of does satisfy me a little bit and kind of does address the problems I had with an open-ended story for Rick. And I don't want to jump into that here. I'll talk about that more when I'm talking about the announcement in another standalone video, but I think it works. I mean, I love it. But other than that, like I said, I really loved this episode. It was a pretty insane and epic episode. Maybe one of the best episodes of The Walking Dead as a whole, arguably. But really love the episode. Can't wait for the next three episodes. Is The Walking Dead dead after Rick? Absolutely not. I mean, I was concerned a little bit, but after seeing the trailer for the next three episodes, I take it back. I'm very excited. I mean, I don't think we're anywhere close to being done with the show. I absolutely love what they're doing with the story after Rick. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads. Like and follow the Facebook page of this channel to join our community. And check out the upload schedule to learn more about daily uploads.